out of the Manny Sabral, Rudolfo Gato Gonzalez. Let's go into the ring and meet the fighters. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the semi main event of the evening, 10 rounds in the super welterweight division. Introducing to my right in the red corner, he weighed in today at 156 pounds. His record is 48 wins, seven losses, and one draw. He is a very popular young man out of Los Angeles, California. We introduce to you Rudolph the Gato Gonzalez. Rudolph Gato Gonzalez. His opponent in the blue corner. He also weighed in today at 156 pounds. He's boxing in the black trunks. He hails from Vancouver, British Columbia. He too Okay, I gave the instructions in the, in the dressing room, and I'm here to enforce them, okay? Now, corner, make sure you guys keep the corner clean out of, with water. That's very important, okay, because this rug this will slip on us. Okay, here we go. Come out fighting at the beginning and at the end. No touching gloves. Tail the tapes of Brawl at 26. Gonzalez, 10 years older, at 36. He gives up in reach and an inch in height. So Brawl, a tremendous amateur career, which included a trip to Seoul in the 88 Olympics on the Canadian Olympic team. He is right now the junior middleweight champion of Canada, so he holds that title. But Gato Gonzalez is an experienced fighter, and this should be a real test for Manny Sabral, who is 15-0 as a pro. Sabral in the black trunks. Rich, Gato Gonzalez has been around quite a while. He's fought the likes of the Roger Mayweathers and Claude Noel. He's, he's been around. He's, he's a good one. Very, very good fighter. 33 knockouts in his career. Just fought recently in September down in Los Angeles. Had a draw against Wilbur Canuda. Knows all the tricks. Be a real test for Manny. To brawl here this evening. Sabral has been very impressive in his fights here in Washington. Break! break. Come on out, come on out, come on. Vancouver, British go. Good Columbia. Job, good job. Before I forget, Manny Sabral, the fighting school teacher and Spanish teacher, PE teacher, wrestling coach at Burnaby North High School. I want to say a special hello to all his gal friends, young friends out of out Olympia of High School. And especially the Spanish class senior Rita McNamara. Okay, great. Come on out. Says say hello to everybody. He's saying hello to to Gato Gonzalez right now. <laughs> Good left from Sabral. 117 wins and nine losses as an amateur. His pro career is just starting to unfold. 11 knockouts in his 15 wins. Gonzalez with a left that misses. Gato still moves well for 36 years of age, and that is old for boxers in the fight game. You might say that is, except if you look at George Foreman, he's still in there. There's a few doing it. Larry Holmes, but not many, especially at this weight. He packs a punch. Okay, break. Scheduled to go on, 10 rounds. Come on out. Here we go. Good job. I wasn't going to touch this one, Rich, but one of the things that uh, Gato Gonzalez likes to collect okay, is lotions, up. if you want to believe that one. He used to love to fight in the streets. They got Did him into the ring, up? and there on it's been history. He's fought most all the top fighters in the world. Okay, no, 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 okay, no. Okay, has a great out, friend okay. here with him, Sergio. Young 14-year-old Sergio has been an interpreter and acting here for him. Doing a good job, young man. Fighter himself to be one day. Manny was on the team with Lennox Lewis and Scotty Olsen. You heard of those two. Lewis, one of the fine heavyweights in the world today. One of the only ones I think would give a possible fight to Mike Tyson. Okay, break. Along with Riddick Bowe. Break. 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 Final moments, first Step round. Back. Break. Make it three. Here we go. Manny was born in Spain, Rich. 
Good fighter. Neither fighter scoring much in this first round. Which is in the books. We'll return after this timeout on Prime Sports. You'd better get ready, because Prime Sports is bringing you your biggest, baddest college hoop season ever. In fact, it's too much. With 99 live and 136 men's and women's games overall, Prime Sports covers the court this season. His last time out, he knocked out Jerry Rosenberg in the first round, and it was not a real challenge for Manny Sobral. So many felt that this fight would be a good proving ground. His girlfriend on hand, Colette, a beautiful young lady. He's over there cheering him on. So far, Gato Gonzalez has proved a pretty good adversary. Gato Gonzalez. But many times in the Olympic Auditorium down in downtown Los Angeles, 18th and Grand. One of the great fight arenas in the country. Both of them throwing tremendous body shots. You break your way up, put your way out of it. Your hands are Manny likens body. his fights to a chess on, match. He likes to feel them out, figure what he's going to do. He loves to work to the body. Could be the downfall for Gato later in the match here. Just had a decision rendered a draw in his last fight. As we told you earlier, he's out of East Los Angeles hey, now. Out, Born out, in Mexico out. City, Mexico. So Brawl, as you mentioned, is a very good tactician as a fighter and a low blow. Are you all right? And it's a warning from referee Ron Raw. Okay, here we go. In the fights that I have seen with Sabral, he hasn't had to be much of a tactician. The fights were over early. But Gato Gonzalez is making Sabral box, which is something that we haven't been able to see him do at length. Gato knows all the tricks. He's, he gets in close, he'll tie him up, grab one of the arms, hits him over the top of the head. Both hands have to be free, gentlemen. Keeps that right hand high. Okay, bring it up, bring Love it up. the way this up. Manny Sabral yeah, works on, the body. Hang on, hang on. When he be defeated uh, Del oh, Ritchie for the championship, right he really worked that body over. Good left from Sabral. Ooh, and a right by Gonzalez that scored. Sabral missed, and Gonzalez made him pay. Throwing some heavy-duty punches in there. Lots of leather. Here again, I don't think it's going to go the distance, but bring him up. made a fool out of me a couple of times tonight. Okay, break it up, break it up. You're hanging on. Good to go. Scheduled to go 10. I should have checked with Criswell tonight to find out, Rich, how these predictions were going to work out. we are right in a couple. Okay, come on out. Come on out. The referee's going to be busy tonight. Just in looking at the two, if this does get into the later rounds, conditioning would seem to be on the side of Sabral. Come on, your hands with Of course, he's got 10 years in age here, and he works with the wrestling team at the Burnaby North School. And works out every day, I'm sure. He's got a great body on him. Looks very strong. We have a ways to get there. Two rounds are done. Back after this on Prime Sports. Are you ready for a spring skiing spectacular? Prime Sports and Delta Airlines bring you beautiful Vail, Colorado at unbelievably low prices. After traveling to Vail on Delta, you'll stay at the Sun and Alp Resort, pure elegance in the Rockies. Combining the grandeur of the world's greatest ski mountain with the charm of a first-class European hotel. And the skiing? Well, it will be better than ever on half-price ski passes, so make your reservations today. Brought to you by Prime Sports and Delta Airlines. With four daily departures to Denver at Delta, you'll love the way we fly. Hi, I'm Scott Lynn. I'm Bob Akamian. Join us every Wednesday night for Beaver Territory. Beaver Territory gives you the inside story on Oregon State University athletics. We show you the seldom seen but little known, the special stories that are important to Beaver fans everywhere. And along the way, we have an awful lot you of bad. Fun. It's Beaver Territory. Don't miss it right here on Prime Sports.
Here's the uh, the low blow that uh, Gato Gonzalez connected on. Did not like that one. And I don't believe I would either. We were talking earlier about the fights going the distance here. Rich, you think about it, uh, Rodolfo Gonzalez with 50 wins approximately with 33 knockouts. Uh, He's gone the distance quite a few more times than Sabral. It has 11 KOs in 15 fights, which obviously would mean he's only gone the distance maybe four times. So, And maybe all those were 10-rounders. We'll see what happens here if it gets into the later rounds. Should be very interesting. Gonzalez has the experience as far as a pro on Sabral, but remember, Sabral's experience lies as an amateur. Only his 16th professional up, fight. Well, for Gonzalez, fight number 68 as a pro. Unfortunately, I didn't get his amateur record, but I'm sure Gallo Gonzalez likewise had a lot of mm -hmm. amateur fights, but I'm sure he probably didn't have 126 of them. But you never know. He's been around a long time. He's an excellent fighter. Manny Sobral, managed by Nelson Kitchen, always does an excellent okay, job. Nelson Kitchen. It's always good to have something in the kitchen. Look at those body shots. They're just banging away. Yeah, both fighters going to the body. Make your way out of it, gentlemen. Hands you don't see that often, box. Rich. Fighters going to the body, but these two are working it. And Sabral in the corner is working it right now. Good combination. Gonzalez in a little bit of trouble, and Sabral smells it. Good right hand, and Gonzalez fights his way out of the corner. Boy, Gato Gonzalez was hit a couple of times hard, but came out of the corner, and he did it by throwing punches. Sabral now continuing to score. Gonzalez missing with a wild ride. Gato's a lot of heart, and if you stop this man, you've done something, because he, he won't stop. It has to be a sharp punch, but this is the man that can do it, Manny Sabral. And all the moves, as we said. Okay, break it up. Play it up. Good job, Bill. One inch different than height. Sabral with an inch in height. And a sizable reach advantage of about six inches. Ooh, good left combination. Two jabs. That right cross missed. Thirty seconds remaining in round three. Scheduled for ten. It's a brawl. Not a bad left. Okay, bring it up. Here we go. The hands are tied. And referee Ronnie Hall keeping his hands full here. Keep him busy. Keep him apart. We're scheduled for ten. Right now, it looks like Manny Sabral is in charge. We're back after this. We are starting the Jimmy V Foundation for Cancer Research. We need your help. It may not save my life. It may save my children's lives. It may save someone you love. Don't give up. Don't ever give up. To help keep Jimmy V's dream alive, please... 1-800-4-JIMMY-V. heads there they came out so far no cuts no bruises exposed as of yet 
Gonzalez in his corner, though, between rounds was spitting up a, a pretty good amount of blood, which would indicate a cut inside the mouth. Okay, break. Tight up. Crowd loving the action. This auditorium at the Lucky Eagle holds about 1,400, and it is sold out. It's been sold out for about five days. Round four. Gonzalez showing some life. He's working over Gatto's eyes pretty good. And Okay, break it. The telling on, fact on, is going to be what on. he can do with that body, but Gatto knows all the tricks, as we said. He'll move to the side, slip punches. For 36 years of age, he moves pretty well. Terrific. I can't even remember what it was like to be 36 years old. So brawl going to work. Gonzalez trying to... Again, punch his way off the ropes. Notice how he slides along the ropes and tries to move out, and he'll step aside. He can get out of there. Man, he's trying to rack him up against the ropes. Okay, here we go. Go to work. That's a right that scored for Gonzalez. Sabral slipped after missing a punch, and Gonzalez scored. That's the best punch that Gato Gonzalez has thrown all night. And Manny slipped in a decent left in there. That's the other one. He's there he goes. Gato Gonzalez for one knee. A quick punch. Short shot. He went down. But like the veteran is, he's up. He goes to neutral corner. Takes the eight count. Standing eight. Remember, there's a three knockdown rule. Plenty of time remaining. Some brawl going right after him. Good combination. Look at this boy. We've got another war going on. Look at this Gato hanging there. Manny better be careful. A lot of punch left in Gato Gonzalez. He's breathing hard. He's got his mouth open. Okay, bring it up. Your hands are tied. Some great shots in that exchange by both the fighters. And Gato Gonzalez, he's going to weather this fourth round. Keep your hand punches up. Keep him up. Ten seconds. Look at this man. No, 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 no. Okay, ah, get another back in here. Here we go. Superbly conditioned, both of them. Gato makes it to the fifth. We'll have it for you after this timeout. They fled in terror, horrified by the very sight of it, the cable box. Run for your lives! But one man did not run. He understood its awesome power. The cable box. It can bring you HBO and Cinemax. Plus pay-per-view. So don't delay. Call now. Free upgrade when you order HBO, Cinemax, Stars, and Encore. The cable box. Welcome it into your home. It's more than a place. It's cyberspace. To begin downloading, direct modem data link. It's easy to get lost in all this super highway hoopla. The real questions are, can you use it? Do you need it? Will it be as simple as your TV? We think it should be. Because after all, it's not about technology. It's about people. It's about making things better. At least, that's the way we're looking at it here at TCI of Washington. Gato Gonzalez took a good combination from Sabral. The right, then the left. Great left hand. Short, quick punch. Good right hand, but a good left. Boom, right on the noggin. If he gets to this round, it may go the distance, but I don't know if he's going to make it through this round, Rich. He's got to get through this round and get back in it. He's been fighting very well. This could be a very telling round here. If I were Manny, I'd go right at him. But he's smarter than I am. He may stay back a little bit. He knows this Gatto is still dangerous. Terrific card here tonight. Come on, Alba, come on. Well, let's come see on. if Sabral, who dominates.
dominated the final minute of that fourth round. They can carry some of that momentum here in the fifth. Great combination. Right oh, oh, right by Gonzalez. And Sabral was stunned a bit. Here we go, here we go. It looked like they both landed at the same time. Go, 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 go. I couldn't even tell. I was trying to watch one and the other one. Good oh. boxing, good boxing. My. Okay, come on out. You're both the tied. bridges of Madison County were rocking on that one. <laughs> Terrific shots. Okay, work your way out of it. Your hands are free. The schedule to go 10. Gonzalez showing that he still has some something left. Misses wildly with a right, and Sabral scored after it. You got the seasoned youngster and the seasoned veteran going at it. Terrific fight so far. Sneaky left thrown in by Manny Sabral. And Ron Rawl, the referee, might have caught a little bit of that Gonzalez right. To be smart, he's standing in the way. Right there. And Sabral. Hey, watch your head, watch your head. Saw Gonzalez miss. And Gato Gonzalez is, uh, I think, starting to show that. 36 going the distance might be difficult because he is slowing down. I remember he just went the distance about three months ago, so this could be trying on him here. I didn't get the opportunity to see that fight, but I heard it was a tough one. And Manny says, when is this guy going to go down? He's throwing some terrific crunching right hands. Mercado seems to come back. Look at those left. steam is left on Gatto's punches, Rich. Uh, okay, Manny on, still looks on. very strong. Keeps coming forward. Well, at, at age 26, he's a, a fighter who, in work. the professional sense, is on his way up, where Gonzalez is a guy at 36 whose best days might be behind him. Let's get back but still, work. he's showing something tonight. Good left by Gonzalez, and a right that misses. Sabral counters. Look at those lefts, and another left hook following the jab. Tattooing the face of Gato Gonzalez. Terrific young fighter, Manny Sabral. Cooper BC has got to be proud of this one. We'll go to round six. Gato Gonzalez keeps hanging around. I'm Scott Lynn. I'm Bob Akamian. Join us every Wednesday night for Beaver Territory. Beaver Territory gives you the inside story on Oregon State University athletics. We show you the seldom seen, the little known, the special stories that are important to Beaver fans everywhere. And along the way, we have an awful lot you of bad. Fun. It's Beaver Territory. Don't miss it right here on Prime Sports. What do you want? Action. See who's holding court. Check out the history. Hear the talk. Take the inside look and experience the countdown. Feel the action. NBA action. Get the hardwood with NBA action exclusively on Prime Sports. It's the ice. Get the gold. The sins. The sins. And the big chest. All the NHL action. Which presents Hockey Week. Skate with the NHL on Prime Sports. Here are the right hands of both Gonzalez and Sabral. Let's see which connect. Oh. You know, it looked like Gonzalez's right was more solid than Sabral's. Okay, second down. Then the jabs. Terrific jabs thrown by Manny Sabral. You were right, Rich. The right hand landed more powerfully by Gato Gonzalez, and Manny Sabral just missed his. It looked like they hit almost simultaneously. The three plays are great shots by Prime Sports. Sixth round, scheduled 10. Sabral seems to be controlling the contest as of now. Boxing's a funny game, though, Rich. You never know. Oh, down goes Gonzalez. Good combination by Sabral. I guess we do know what's going to happen, don't we? <laughs> it was the same combination that sent Gonzalez to one knee earlier in the fight. Ron Raw wants to make sure that Gato 
is still here. Mouthpiece is out. Gonzalez in real trouble. We got a war going. Another one. This mouthpiece halfway across the ring. The referee doesn't want to stop it now, but he's down. Down goes Gonzalez. He'll get a standing eight count. This fight is close to over. He didn't wash the mouthpiece out that I could see. We got him going here. Gonzalez coming back. See what he can do if he can last this round. I don't think so. If he goes down one more time, they'll stop it. Automatic stoppage. It's a raw miss, as did Gonzalez. They're cheering him on. Manny, Manny. Down he goes. Good right hand. Down to one knee. That's the third knockdown of the round. Wasn't that the third knockdown, Rich? No. A standing eight count along with two knockdowns now. Just called the case of three knockdowns. Stopped the fight. Yeah, he did. And that's Stop a nice decision by Ron Raw. So Manny Sabral, the teacher, is now 16 and 0. And his professional career continues to rise. Moments let's of the he, sixth. Let's see what he gets from here with Rich. Overhand right, down to one knee. Working him over. There he goes again. Down to one knee. He sort of leaned into that one. Well, they got that three knockdown rule in effect. Uh, the referee was a little slow to pick up on that. They should have called the fight here, right? Automatically. Go down to the knee. The knockdown. Dado Gonzalez did an excellent job in there while he lasted it. You can see the veteranship. Terrific fighter. He's quickly becoming a crowd favorite. And still undefeated. Here in Rochester. 16-0 as a pro, 12.